Recent computer glitches prevented many of the first Obamacare investors from buying in. But on top of getting the website up and running, the government faces another obstacle, recruiting the young and the healthy to sign up. If young people don't buy in, um, or more accurately, buy in at lower levels or less frequently than the insurance companies have assumed when setting the prices, um, that the prices will rise. Despite the need for young people's involvement in the health reform, a lack of information is causing cluelessness about the issue. Especially on Facebook, I always complain about like Obamacare, and I've seen these like this really disturbing statistic how people, most people don't like Obamacare, but they like the Affordable Care Act, which are exactly the same thing. So that, if that's not an indication of like, you know, people's ignorance, then I don't know what is. Many people in this demographic separate themselves from the possibility of becoming sick or injured. These people don't see health insurance as a necessity for their age group, earning themselves the name the Young Invincibles. There's obviously some times where you get sick but like, and like have like problems like that, but I don't really like think ahead like that. Those Young Invincibles who are aware of the recent health reforms have mixed feelings. What I love about Obamacare is I can stay on my parents' like insurance until I'm 26. I'm 22 right now, so I definitely like saved a lot of money. Since they're going to school full time, it would be next to impossible to be able to afford health care. Despite the Young Invincibles mindset and those who are utterly clueless, Obamacare depends on young people ages 18 through 35 for its livelihood. For BUTV 10, I'm Kami Wood.